now let's find out more about the Midmar Mile. It's an event that takes place every year in the Midmar Dam down in KZN where you swim really, really far against uh, some of the best swimmers that come from around the world. They all want to be the champion of the Midmar Mile. And, well, South Africa did pretty well in the last one. Michael McGlynn is in the studio in Durban to tell us about how he was able to fly the flag for us. Michael, how are you? Tell us about the Midmar Mile, your passion for it, and what you were able to achieve in uh, the uh, Midmar Mile back in uh, uh, a couple of days ago. Hi, ah, thank you so much. You know, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's a privilege to be on the show. Uh, so once again, thank you for having me. Um, I'm very happy uh, about my recent achievement at the mid mile. mile. Um, it was a very tight finish, but I was able to get the win. Uh, well, come second and, and win it for South Africa. So I'm um, very privileged. It's an honor. You came second. The Australians pipped you to the line. And it's something you've been doing for years. You're only 19 years of age, but you've been swimming the Mon Mile Mile for a long, long time. When is the win going to come, and how long ago did you start? So I started the Mid Mile Mile in about 2009, so it's been a good 10 years. I did take a three-year gap in between um, from 2016 to 2019. Um, I'd actually come third previously in 2016, so I'm definitely not a newcomer. Mm -hmm. um, I've had one, heck, one hell of a journey uh, the past three years, but um, yeah, the Mid Mile Mile is a great event, and I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, they have that initiative of go the extra mile, and I really believe that they really did pull it off this year. What's it like? Like 14,000 people jumping into the dam, uh, you're in the water for 17 minutes. What is that like? It's, it's, it's exciting, like knowing that South Africa and especially everyone at the dam is supporting you and, um, you know, like I said, I've done it before, so there are still nerves, but, um, you know, you just push yourself in the race and you try and, you know, have your own space, keep a clear mind and just focus on your own race and try and do everyone proud. You did make us proud. Second place, your best result ever. Is a first place on the horizon? Are you going to keep pushing? Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> it gives me actually goosebumps thinking about it. Um, <laughs> but yes, I would love to go for that first place next year. I mean, it's the biggest open water swim in the world. Um, so definitely, whatever happens next year, the goal is number one next year. How do you prepare? Take us through the routine or time that you, you, that you will put in to getting ready to swim the Midmar Mile. Well, the preparation. <laughs> um, no, the training is very difficult. You know, I swim for Alistair Hatfield. He's a great coach, um, and I've been with him for many years. It's about, you know, roughly 20 to 22 hours of training in the pool. Um, it's about 10 two-hour sessions and, you know, three core sessions a week. So um, the training's pretty grueling, um, but I'm, you know, it's paying off now, and it's it, I've been a year at this journey, so. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with it, yes. 23 hours a week in the pool? Yeah, uh, it's, it's about 20 hours in the pool and then a few core sessions in the gym, so roughly about 23 hours a week, so it's, it's tough. Phew, that sounds like superhuman stuff. I'm not sure if I'm uh, anywhere near capable of doing a mid mile mile, but Next year, I'll try to be uh, next to the uh, dam there and cheer you on, Michael. Thank you for getting that second place for us and uh, representing us so well. Thank you so much. Thank you.